What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game Video here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're going to have a heated episode today. I already feel it. Um, I was going to gotta do that real quick because even though it doesn't matter, it doesn't it doesn't matter at all. But anyway, hopefully you guys are fantastic today. Let's go ahead and jump into this episode real quick with the team recap. If you guys don't know, our team is actually on fleek today. Yes, I actually used the word on fleek. That never happens over on the Game Duo, so... For that, you should totally like, comment, and subscribe because I really do appreciate it. We've got Jonas, level 23. Girder with Seismic Toss, Protect, Magnitude, and Low Kick. We got Greenburn with a Serious Shot, Psybeam, Hex, and Calm Mind. We got Daddy, the Machep, with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Snatch, and Cotton Guard. We've got Champion with the Refrigerated Ability, Aqua Jet, Ominous Wind, Brine, and Bounce. We have Papa, our level 25. Drum roll, please. Trumbeak who has a chance at evolving this episode or next episode. And we got Zayden, our long-reaching Mega Swampert. So, I like the team. I feel like the team is in a good, decent spot. We do have a battle with Solaria, the biggest butt nugget in Alola. Um, I hate Solaria, if you guys already know. I've talked about this before, but Solaria always finds a way to freaking drill in the freaking deaths so hopefully she doesn't do that in today's episode um but it's funny so i'm doing text changes for a uh, new series coming up i've talked about this and i'm actually like right here are the text changes i just actually well i'm a little farther now i just got past mallow's trial and so there's some funny things that I can't wait to... For I'll, I'll forget it, and I know I will. And I think that's something that makes it a little exciting for me. Like, knowing that my the possibility of me forgetting what we're going to be talking about and what things are going to be coming out of people's mouths is going to be hilarious. Because um, you guys don't know. Uh, we did announce it, so I'm actually able to talk about it, um, which is actually very exciting. But... We did announce that we're Aaron and I are going to be doing the Pokemon Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun uh, Cage Lock, and so with that being said, we're we're going all out. We've got a we've got uh, somebody doing art right now because they are an amazing person. I believe that we already figured that out, but yeah. Um, so that'll be exciting. I can't wait to see how that turns out. On top of the fact that we have you know the text changes and we are definitely going we're very focused we're out here we're ready to snag those w's um i need to snag a w against aaron not going to lie i don't know when this episode drops so i'm not gonna say what happened in cage lock but i can just tell you that last cage lock episode was a very important episode and you should definitely check it out if you have not already i card right there it's there for you um oh my god you had a full restore gross Yeah, but to be honest, I'm not ready to take on Solaria. Um, I feel like Solaria is going to find a way to, like, just demolish something on the team. Like, something is dying in today's episode. I can tell you that much. Um, but who is it? You got to find out. Um, but no. So, Solaria is going to be a 6v6. Solaria is something to worry about. Um, but no, I'm very happy that we get to finally, like, we get to play Alola. And... I'm nervous for Cage Lock Season 3, which I was not nervous for Season 2 at all. Like, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. Season 2, I had a feeling I was going to win Season 2. Well, there you go. I told you exactly what happened. Um, but this that goes up later, so it doesn't really necessarily matter. But I had a feeling that Season 2 was going to be... I was going to have Season 2 in my belt. And so, knowing that what... Oh, do I talk to the Sudowoodos? I believe I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, I had a feeling because I had the upper hand. This, in Alola, I don't. Because, as you guys have seen, the totems have not been easy. Kafa Grigus and Nihilego. Like, two really difficult mons. And in a cage lock, I'm going to be losing those mons, the mons that we have. On top of the fact that me losing those mons is going to... Um, allow for Aaron to be able to take advantage of those. There's 14 different cage matches that we've got as well on top of everything else. So not only is it going to be difficult, we have 14 gosh diggy darn cage matches. So 
Oh my god. <laughs> I freaking called it. Solaria always has some butt nugget Pokemon. I literally can't hit. I don't have like. Bruh, my team is all weak to this. God damn it. The only thing I can go into is Zayden. I freaking called it. I literally. What did I say? Solaria is a butt nugget and always has a Hamon that counters my entire team. Case in freaking point! That's. Like, if you have a grass type move, this is gonna be a freaking shit show. Last time, she had a Dusk Main Necrozma. Oh god. She had a Dusk Main Necrozma last time I did this. So, like. Ugh, she's so annoying. I literally just wanna kill her, like, every time. I'm gonna go ahead and Thunder Punch. You don't have Bolt Absorb, so it's good. Oh god. That didn't even do half. Oh my god. Round. Okay, that does nothing. Thank god. Thank god you have absolutely nothing. Because you, if you had something for Zayden, that would have been GG right there. Um. Oh boy. Okay. Jonas moves up to level 24, which will take. Jonas wants to learn a rock type move. Uh, hell yes. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of Seismic Toss. Because even though Seismic Toss is great for catching Mons, it's not really that great overall. I could have gotten rid of Protect, but it's a way that I can kind of see what's going on on the field. And kind of scout. Reuniclus. I'm going to stay in on that. We don't have a Dark type. But being the fact that she's literally level 23... Is that's how that I think that's another thing that's hella nerve wracking is she's not like she's level 23. She's not a hard level. Weak armor, oh god, you're faster. You're gonna hit me twice. So if there's a two at KO, then I need to watch out. Oh my god, you got the flinch. Okay. We're lucky. Psychic fangs, that's gonna do nothing. You're not a physical attacker, we're fine. Zayden has literally been a freaking monster, which I mean I expected a freaking mega swamper to be a monster, not gonna lie. Because if it wasn't a monster, I'd be a little scared. <laughs> Stuffle. Okay, Stuffle's not a problem. That is actually... Um, that's uh, something for our daddy, the Machamp, to tack on. Um, I was going to go into our, our Papa, but then I realized Papa literally doesn't have a freaking Fly-type move yet. So we can't go into Papa yet until we get a Flying-type move on the boy. Um... We should be able to take this out, though. You're just a plain old stuffle. Yeah. GG with the correct. Let's go. Bye. Um, what else do you got? A Pidgey? Oh, that's freaking awesome. I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised that she hasn't b uh, busted out with anything as... Like, as much as I know that she's a problem, she... She really stopped busting out with good mons, and... I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. Um, I'm definitely not going to say no to that. Also, kids, drink your water. Water is imperative. Um, wait, why did Skydrop not affect me? Wait. Oh, because I'm flying already. John, you're fucking dead. Of course. Oh, hey, we said a word. Um, see, I told you, I'm mainly PG, but sometimes those words slip. Um, but, mmm, that's a big yikes. Well, Pidgey's gone, that's fine. Solaria hasn't really given me too much of a threat, though, which is very nice. A, it's a Skeeter. Um, bye. Oh my god, this re literally reminds me of the last episode of Cage Law. <laughs> Aaron... Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> this literally reminds me of the cage lock episode. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. See, this is why I freaking love this series. Like, I, I this is probably if I were gonna rank my favorite series is right now. Oh, that's a hard decision. I would go. Hmm. 
Well, actually, since I've already spoiled the fact that Cage Lock doesn't, or is it going on right now, that it's literally between Gen Lock and Versus and Challenge version. Which, if I were to give my, it would be, it would be Versus Gen Lock Challenge version. Um, and literally all three of those are probably a tier, a tier series on my channel. So, like, I, I'm not really saying much when I say that j challenge version should be my least favorite of the three. Oh, I thought this said Rampardos. That was my bad. I, I was overthinking that. Um, well, Kranidos dies. No problem at all, because you don't have Sturdy, you don't have the freaking annoying ability, and Solaria died. Okay, we actually... Solaria led off with the scary Mon, but other than that, her team wasn't that bad. Um, I was able to return Poiple back to its better state. Well, you didn't even have one, so I would rethink and get your vision checked. Um, oof, I'm like... Okay, oh, something I need to stress here. The battle, because we're about to head into the battle royale. The battle royale does not count as an, or as a battle that can kill Mons, because it's not a fair fight at all whatsoever. So that is a Mon that cannot kill things, or a battle that cannot kill things. So just so you guys know, we are basically the rest of the episode not a threat of, not at a threat of losing Mons. Because we've got this fight, and then we're going to get the TM, and then we're going to be out. So, like, literally, the only thing could ha that could happen is freaking we get annihilated by a Staravia. Which, I'm sorry, as much as I love Staravia, I don't see that happening. Um, yeah, Thundershock. Whoa. Like, I didn't, even th I didn't think I was faster, to be honest. Or I didn't think I was slower, and you lived on one. That's great. Um... I still don't feel like if Thunder, if you use Thunder Shock, there's nothing you can do. Um, yeah, Bob. Um, I need Papa to evolve. I really do. Uh, we're like so close to it though, too. Like I think that's the biggest thing. Porygon too. I also love the fact that we are literally getting Jonas levels as well. So not only like we're focusing on some mods that don't really get much love and attention, which is really neat. Um, I got to say, as part of this episode, um, please go into Papa, 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 Papa. Yeah! <laughs> that was great. Okay. That was probably the best case scenario right there. Um, is everybody, okay, I don't know if anybody, everybody else is gaining experience. The experience here should be on, though. Jonas goes to level 25. Oh, Is the XP share off? <laughs> Bro, I don't know why, when is how long it's been turned off for, but it was off. Um, I was like, something seems wrong. Things aren't gaining levels. TM at rest. Yay, pointless TM. We still haven't even gotten our encounter here. Well, we'll get it now. Our encounter on Route 6 is... Nuzleaf. You know what? I don't mind Nuzleaf because a friend of mine loves Nuzleaf a lot. Um, although the same friend of mine cannot be named after Nuzleaf because he has a official mascot on this channel. So, sorry. Um, do you actually copy my type as well? Yes, you do. Fantastic. I'm actually very, very thrilled about that. I know that shouldn't be as thrilling as that is, but... It's like, yay, we don't have to worry about freaking... Be it being weak to dark. Because that totally mattered. Um, but knowing it hasn't foster, it just means that this mod is just not really that great. But we're going to name this Corn Nut. Corn Nut the Nuzleaf. Because it deserves to be named Corn Nut. Um, Corn 
Corn at the Nuzleaf has been added to this. Oh, not to the party. Not to the party. Not to the party. Not to the party. Um, has been added to the box. Um, as another Gen 3 mod, so that's good backup for our Mega Swampert, I guess. <laughs> it's not really backup for a Mega Swampert. Like, I, I honestly. <sighs> this is something I've changed as well. Um, and I can't say what I've changed because... Oh, well, they fight me. I didn't know they fought me. Well, oofies. Um, I, I know Team School did not heal me, too. So, oh, you got one, Mon. You should hopefully are not that big of a threat. I remember when I said I that hopefully you're not that big of a threat. And I know this bitch did not get healed. Yeah, frick. Um... Crap. I'm just gonna go into Swapper, okay? I'm just gonna go into Swapper. Just casually have one, might as well use it. Um, Zayden, please tell me that you have a good ability or a good thing for this. Fire Fang does not hurt me at all. It's totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and waterfall the crap out of this thing, and it should be dead. Um, yeah, okay, good. Also, like, I still don't know why my experience share was off, though. Like, it's supposed to be... I guess it was good that it was off, though, because it didn't really need to be on um, until, like, things needed to level up and stuff. Because this next totem is going to be level 24, so it's not like... So we're not over-leveled, so... Positive. Plus, the only fights we have aren't even trainer fights, so... <laughs> okay so i'm dying because all i'm gonna say is aaron if you're watching this you better watch out for hapu because she says some pretty nasty things um and what i by, what i mean by nasty is not like gross nasty but like the kind of nasty where it's like, damn, did you really just stoop that low? Yeah, so that's all I'm going to say. Hapu just fucking stoops hella low in our text, in our series. <laughs> and I love it, um, obviously, because we get to read this text and be like, wow, Hapu, thanks for the comfort or thanks for the camaraderie. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the battle royale al and then end today's episode and then in the next episode we'll be taking on a totem so one episode is okay the next episode we get wreckeronied how about that for pacing honestly though that is very phenomenal pacing um we get to we literally get two encounters next episode though so at least we get encounter encounter and then get screwed so that's a positive Glad you can make it. I'm here today to spread the word on, oh yeah, a battle royale. They call me the Masked Royale. The Masked Royale. I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed down in Alola for generations. The Pokemon Battle Royale. But Royale, what's Battle Royale, you might ask? Four trainers. Four trainers. Pick at pick, each. Pick three Pokemon. Yeah. One for big Pokemon battle. Oh, yeah. One and one trainer's team can't battle anymore. Yeah. The battle royale ends. Whichever trainer has taken out the most Pokemon. Yeah. And the most Pokemon left will emerge winner. First, give it a shot. Pick your Pokemon and let's do this. Dude, it's the Masked Royale. I want to battle him. That was a weird Hal voice today. I can't do that. Uh, we got this. 
we're gonna do this. How is gonna lead off with some Mega, somebody else is gonna lead off with Celesteela, and somebody else is gonna lead off, it's gonna be all broken as heck. Also, I like how it says pick my Pokemon, it's just gonna pick the Pokemon for me. This is why this battle doesn't count. Because it literally picked them on for us. Now, here come the Contestas. We send out Jonas to die, even though Jonas literally can't die this battle. How sends out an Executor. That's fantastic. It's not like Jonas is weak to that. Dusclops. It's almost like Jonas can't touch that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And a Bulbasaur. It looks like Jonas literally... <laughs> to this entire freaking field. This is great. Um, the, like, okay, luckily we killed a Bulbasaur and it doesn't matter, but like naturally, right? Um, I'm actually, <laughs> look at how little damage Jonas did. Oh god, that was great. Oh. That was hilarious. Jonas literally did nothing. But it was sad because like the mon that actually died was a spoopy bulbasaur. You bring the fire, you fire me up. You're at my next attempt at the fire captain in West Volcano Park. Take on the island challenge and top. And climb to the top with your strongest team. How's your trials going? I oh my god. So much talking. Um, well, actually, to, what's interesting is we'll have to read this text. Uh, I think that's a part of the reason why this series feels like it's going a lot faster. Is I'm, like, skipping text and not really paying attention to text. Whereas in my initial series, I read, it, like, text. I read all of it, I think. Or at least most of it. Um... And so it did make the series take a lot longer. But on that fantastic note, you guys have a fantastic day. I love you all. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center. And we're about to take on a totem. So I hope to, guys, to, hope to see you guys there. This It'll be a short episode. It'll be like a 20-minute episode. But see you guys then. Peace out, guys.